Today is gonna be fun. Normally when we high bank, we spend hours piling up dirt for us to run. But today we have an excavator and unlimited amounts of gold filled dirt to play with. So how much gold can we find? Good morning, world. Look at Kyle get ready and grab the hose and motor. I always, I always have to do everything. So obviously we have the super duper special purple high banker. We have the motor, hoses, we got some tools. We don't need buckets, we don't need pans. We don't need wrapping paper. But what we do need is a healthy breakfast to start your morning. I'm so grateful you're driving today, Sile. Why is that? Because then I don't have to drive. So we are here at Andy's mine site and it is a hot one. I'm gonna do my best to try to keep this toque on for the whole day, but it might not might not work. However, we do have a river right there, so if I wanna cool off, I'll just jump in. Now, Andy isn't here yet, so I'm thinking before he shows up, we could probably do some sniping, metal detecting, run the excavator, the wash plant, do some gold panning, cut some trees down, make a fort. There's... Kyle. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. I thought you were Andy. Never mind. For those of you who've been following me for a while, you guys probably remember a time I was high- <laughs> You ruined my shot! You probably remember a time that I was high banking and I found that deep hole that I thought was a cave that could be a cave. Well, that was actually right here. And it's still in my mind to do it, but obviously it's all full of water now. Maybe we could snipe a cave. There's the man! I'm still uh here. Yeah, still alive. Oh yeah, That's ready good. to do some uh, gold searching. No sand today, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, let's not do that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take material out of all this. Now this is virgin stuff. It's the same stuff that Andy runs in his wash plant. So we're hopefully gonna try to get down there where it looks all nice and juicy, see what kind of gold is in there. And then if we can, we're gonna cherry pick from the spot over there where I know there's gonna be some really good stuff. Okay, so today is so hot outside. Instead of shoveling, we're gonna use my big powered shovel. So we're not actually gonna feed the high banker with the excavator because one scoop will bury the thing. Instead, we're just piling about four scoops to make the shoveling much easier. There's Andy, we're on the mine site. I found the one puddle I could find here. So I'll be here for the day. That is a lot more dirt than I thought we could get. Look at that. That is uh, plenty of material. I'm pretty sure that's more than we've ever ran with the high banker. That's like four yards, three or four yards for sure. I got into some really good deep stuff there. I tried to get to the bedrock for a couple of these scoops, so. So what Sile's doing before we run is he's putting on an extension because of the amount of material that we are running. We want to really make sure that we don't lose anything. And before you ask, this is just a prototype. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this yet as uh, make it available to you guys, but today we're gonna find out if it works. It's probably not gonna work. All right, perfect. Everything's working just fine. <laughs> so I'm actually really excited to know if we can get through all this material today. It's more material than I've ever run before using a high banker, but there's also four of us, so maybe we can get through it all, or maybe not. So Bailey has the first scoop today. I can already tell this is gonna be a long day. We haven't really even started, and I'm already complaining about the heat. <laughs> Just kidding. Grab that rock out of your <laughs> For those of you wondering why we're using a little high banker rather than the big wash plant, Kyle and I just wanted to test to see how much dirt you could run through the high banker without having to stop. And also he wanted to test out these extensions for the high banker. And also, also, most people can relate to high banking and it's fun, especially when you have four people doing it. Also, 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 if you want one of these high bankers, check out cruxprospecting.com. I have a purple one. Everybody is working hard. Hardly working. Bailey's playing with a rock. Sile's playing with dirt. Whee! Andy's playing with water. 
Nah, I'm doing nothing. Andy, I think you should replace your wash plant with a high bank here. What do you think? I'm thinking with uh, the way I've been seeing this high banker work, I'm seriously considering it. So one of the extensions just came apart on this. So we're just doing some surgery. It's probably not gonna work. So we decided to do a quick cleanup because we got bored and Kyle just panned out the bottom four mats and found that we have only one little piece of gold so it's not really worth keeping that the extensions we don't think. So we're just going to run the high banker as we normally do with the four mats or the two squares here and then we'll see how we do. Since we're already cleaning the bottom half we might as well just clean this and see what we're looking at. And we still have a ton more dirt to run so hopefully there'll be at least two pieces in this. Andy, how much material do you think we've already worked through? I think maybe half a yard. Half a yard, okay. Yeah, we have about four yards here still to run, so yeah. How much gold did we find in the little dent we did in that four or five yard pile? It's just too hot to move material fast today, so yeah. this is the right pace. I mean, it looks good, there's gold already. Yeah, okay. Uh, hurry up, I'm hot. I'm just trying to get down to the big stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of black sand. Okay. Yeah, why not? There's gold in them, our dirt. We knew there's gold in there, we just don't know how much. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. All chunky stuff. I mean, we dug about, how deep did we dig? Like six feet to get to that good stuff. Yeah, that would have been six or eight feet down I was trying to reach. Tried to get to the bedrock, but I just kept hitting the big boulders that are sitting on it. That's way better than Home Depot sand though. So this isn't a bad quick test. Now let's see if we can triple, double, quadruple it by the end of the day. Let's uh, let's get running. Round two. I'm just trying to get some big rocks up so they don't have to deal with it. A whole bunch of boulders. This one. And now. High banking videos are hard for me to edit because I try to make everything entertaining, but there's only so much one can do with the same shot over and over again. Let me know if I'm overthinking. So as far as high bankers go, the, the weight and the ability to pack it into sight is one of the most important things. That is one of the standout features of this high banker, is it's just feather light. You can carry it like nothing. That allows you to get into places you might not want to access normally. Seriously, I don't even know if we're halfway done the pile. We obviously did a lot of work, but I mean, there's still a lot more to go. How are you feeling about all this so far? This is going great. We got a nice little system now, so two people shovel and one person on the box, and uh, it's going fast. So this beautiful thing can get through 30 yards in about an hour, which is yeah. maybe two yards per minute. All right, the boys are working. We got a system going and we're crushing through this. Right into his ear. Yeah. All right, so we're all just taking turns having a break in the excavator here. So far, I'm the only one to have a break. But yeah, I might just sit in here the whole time and watch, watch everybody else work, because I don't... I don't want to work. I'd rather be like eating ice cream or, or looking at Lamborghinis or something. It catches a lot better gold when, when it gets into the high banker, yeah. So I know I've said this about 20 times today, but we are almost done running this material. We still have maybe 20 more yards to go. So we're getting there. It's so hot. All right, we're getting close. This is the last scoops going through. A couple more. A couple more. And then we're done. Okay. The bedrock's just covered in it, so as you dig down, you got no choice but to scoop out a bunch it's with like it. Baseball sized chunks. Yeah. So you gotta break up. And you never really know if the gold's in the clay or on it or near it. You just gotta run everything. Yeah, that's so true. Last scoop. Last scoop. Done. Woo! Woo! Yeah, good work, boys. That's the most dirt 
we've ever ran through the high banker. And it's all because of me. So what we're gonna do is just let this run for maybe a minute, let it all settle in there, and then we'll finally clean it out and see how much gold we find. Woo! We're just moving the, the tent so that we're in the shade when we do this. Ugh. So like always, letting Sile take this apart because I seem to break it. I wonder why that would be. Do we see any gold up in the top? We just... There's a nice piece right there. Unless that's... Is that gold or is that a... Or is that a nothing? I think you just buried it. You buried it. Here, let me pull that out. Yeah, maybe just put it into the... Oh, there's gold right there. Yeah, okay. We have some candy. All right, we're just gonna put it in the pan and then one of us is gonna pan it out and then we'll, that'll be that. What are your guesses, sir? I think we're gonna get... Ah, probably... We'd be lucky to get a gram, I reckon. Yeah. But we did run a fair bit. Mm. What's your guess? Material? I don't know. This is kind of like my first time doing this much material, so I'm not sure. Ten grams. Three, four yeah, yards. I hope like we gram. got a gram. Sile? Uh, I would love to get two, but, you know, I'm an optimist. I'm going to guess about 13 grams, and if we don't get that, I will be very, very disappointed. I'm just kidding. So Kyle's just dumping it into the square pan because he trusts that square pan and he's also a square, so. If you'd like to critique my panning skills, you're welcome to uh, go down in the comments and write whatever you like. How much gold did we find? All right, Kyle just panned down the concentrates. This is the moment of truth. I left a lot of material because it's cons, so it might great, take a minute to... Great black sand in there. There's a lot of black sand. I'm already seeing a lot of gold. Oh, yeah. This chunk there. Yeah, that is a good one. <laughs> All being helpful as usual. I mean, that's a real rough pan, but... There you go. Wow. Some we might we might have got to a gram. <laughs> Some good chunkers in there too. Paul's uh, not feeling too great because of the sunshine. Oh, where's the where's the stuff from the where's the stuff from the first run, the oh, first the cleanup? We need that too. Kyle's just gonna clean up these cons just a little bit more down so that we can have a better look. Okay, I get to see what we found. We found. We got really dirty water. Ah, oh, that's a nice piece. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably about four ounces, obviously. Give or take. Okay. We Give found some gold. Ounces. It's more than a gram. More than a gram? Okay. I'd say it's more than a gram. That piece of gold looks like a little kid. Place See? your bets. Uh, I think it's going to be... I don't know. I was thinking 0. 0.98. <laughs> 0. 0.5? You just I'm can't. Not sure. I was going to say 0. 0.3. Okay, here's all the gold dried up. We're gonna weigh it all, look under the microscope, and see what we're looking at. So looking under the microscope, this is our kitty nugget. Maybe it looks like a dog or a, a bird, I don't know. And this is our biggest piece of the day. I do notice some quartz in here, so that is an indicator of the source being nearby. So this is our biggest piece of the day. We're gonna weigh it and see if it weighs 10 ounces. 0 0.06 grams, that's almost 0 0.07 grams. Now I don't imagine this is gonna weigh a lot. It's really hard to know where exactly the best gold is. So sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. 0.58 grams. So under a gram, less than what we had hoped. Oh wait, there we go. If I added that little bit in here, that would for sure be over a gram. So there you have it. Roughly, I don't know, 50 bucks, 100 bucks thousand dollars two million dollars overall a good day well you never really know what you're gonna get obviously the grades vary over the whole site so we just took three four of the best scoops we could and that's what we're looking at so it's pretty decent though what matters is that we all had fun so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd like to quickly just thank Andy for letting us use the mine site and that he is back in action and it is so good to see him. So good to be out with you. Yay. Also Kyle, cause he, I don't know, Kyle. And also this purple high banker because it kept up so well and it was really great. Check out cruxprospecting.com if you want your own. Okay, bye.